Danielle. I'm Caitlin and we are our time of the month. And today we're doing something that I don't really think needs to be done, but we get a lot of questions about it. And that is, how do you do your half up, half down hairstyles? Yeah, you know what it is. And honestly, fast forward to the end, you just split it half up and half down. <laughs> That's it, I swear there's no secret. But maybe there are secrets. There are things I do to zhuzh it. Yes. I zhuzh. So we're all, I'll show you the whole process. My process is much more lengthy to, for, than Danielle's because I curl mine when it's half up, half down. Mm -hmm. I almost never wear my hair straight, uh, so that will be part of my process. It's margarita day. Happy margarita day. Happy margarita day. Margarita day could be every day if you try hard enough. Agreed. So step one for me, I am currently, have gone back to my original, yeah. was that a three quarters? Is that a one? That's a one. A one inch curling wand. That might be a one and a quarter. I don't love this one as much as my other one because it doesn't have a temperature control. It's either on or off. Why are you using it then? Because I like how it does my hair better. Oh, because of the ceramic? I'm yeah. Assuming? But it's yeah. also wider. Okay. So, um, but it doesn't have like a cool tip, so it's very dangerous. And then there's no heat temp there's no temperature controls. There's also no foot on it. So when you put it on a surface, you have to be really careful you don't let it sit. I've scorched my sink twice. Uh, if you have any tips to get out that little uh, burn mark on some white laminate countertop, please let me know. I will say this one does have like the 360 swivel, which I really like, um, but yeah, the no foot and the no temperature control and the no cool tip kind of blows. But I still think that this makes me, I like the waves that this gives. I want you to try my Hot Tools one then sometime yeah. because it's it has all those features that you're missing. Yeah. And it's the same size. That is really unfortunate. It's so dangerous. So the other thing that I require is a little claw-y thing. Okay. And I'm gonna take my hair down out of this rat's nest. It is probably at least a full, what did I do last weekend? So you're six days in. So I'm six days in. It does not smell great. It does not feel great. It does not look great. It doesn't feel, I mean, it's a little oily back there, but I would expect that. Yeah, so this is what, this is like, rolling out of bed looks like. I will say, I think a half up, half down looks better the dirtier your hair is. Yes, I agree. And and this is typically when I tend to start doing a half up, half down, like day five. Yeah. Because I don't can I don't want to continuously like style my hair with heat every day, but I obviously couldn't leave it like this or and for some reason I don't want to put it up. Right. Sometimes I think actually putting it up looks dirtier than if you mm -hmm. like make it work down. So I am gonna straight up I'm gonna split it where I would split it for my half up, half down. Okay. And this varies greatly depending on how I feel. But we're gonna call it there. We're gonna say that that is right. And then I'm gonna clip it. Because also typically if I'm doing this, I want to save time. So I could mm -hmm. go through and curl my whole head. But why, why do bother? that? When I can just curl this part and then I'll curl the ends yeah. and then that will be my deal. My hair is two days old. Oh. To me, oh, I'll wait. Days. Okay. To me, like today, it probably will not look very good. Days three, four, or five look best for me with half up, half up, half down. But I'm gonna try to add a little bit of grit and dirt to my hair, which is very counterintuitive, but I'm gonna do it for you. And my tools are very simple. Invisibobble. Yeah. Step one. Best thing that you can use, in my opinion. I love it so much. You smell like straight tequila. You're welcome. Margarita day. This will hold your hair in place really nice and snug, but it will not leave a line. And it also gives you a little bit of volume and perk because when you loop this, it's giving your ponytail height, which I like. I like it to be risen off of my scalp a little bit to make it a little bit perkier because you know, hashtag Shih Tzu season. Oh yeah, that's the name of this video. I'm like forgetting which way I, go. I curl my hair. Oh, I also hate that I don't have a mirror because it helps me pretend. I don't know where the end of this fucker is. Don't touch it. I know. I'm 100% going to burn myself today. Okay, so since Caitlin has a lot more to do than me, I'm just going to sit here with my baby and watch you. Are you just going to high speed this part? We gave you a kiss. I saw that. And now he's looking at me in the mirror. So while she's doing that, let me talk to you about some of my favorite hair products that I use in this situation. The first is dry shampoo. If my hair is really dirty or if I just want it to have a little bit of grit, I'm reaching for my chlorine dry shampoo. This has oat milk in it and it doesn't leave too much of a white cast. I recommend spraying it in, going about your business for 20 or 30 minutes and then massaging it in to the root and your scalp. It has a really great smell. It doesn't have a tacky texture. It doesn't make your hair feel dirtier, which some dry shampoos can do. 
If I want straight up texture, I am using the Kristen S Dry Finish Working Texture Spray. I love this so much. A lot of people talk about the smell of Kristen S products being like old plastic or something. What was it that someone said? I don't remember. This one doesn't really offend me too much, but she did just recently come out with a fragrance-free sensitive line. So if that is an issue for you, you can look for the fragrance-free version. I think they come in a white can. Something like that. Yeah. You know she launched that whole line and she didn't do the pink stuff. I know. I, I think that. that's coming late. So normally I hold that chunk of hair that would be that's across my forehead. I would hold it in my mouth, but I have so much lipstick <gasps> on. You're right. So I'm just please be careful because it looks so close to your skin. It's very close to my skin. Makes me nervous. And then my last thing that I sometimes use in my hair is a Kenra Shine Spray. It is a weightless shine spray. This is great if your hair is a little bit dirtier or if you had to use something like this texture spray to give it grit. That can sometimes mattify your hair and make it look dirtier. If you add something like this, like a weightless shine spray, it will just make your hair look a little bit more glossy and clean. Do you remember Calgon sprays? Calgon, take me away. Um, I mean, I don't think I ever had any actual hot. There was one called like Island something and it smells like this and it's very nostalgic for me. I'm gonna look it up. So I am a lazy bee and I tend not to rotate my curl pattern very much, but I did once watch a video with Estee Lalonde and her hairdresser would only, would just flip the direction of the curl right by the ear. So I do do that. Mm. So I typically go back away from my face for all of it, except like right here and I go forward. Oh, nice. Don't really know if that makes all that big of a difference. And so with this one, well actually with all curling wands, I just touch my hair to figure out when I think it's done, when it's like hot to the touch where I don't want to keep my hand on it for longer than a second mm -hmm. or half a second, then it's done. And then I sort of just hold it in my hand a little bit and pat it until it cools. That will make the curl hold a little bit longer than if you just like let it slide off the barrel and then just gravity will pull that curl down. You sound so smart right now. Thank you. <laughs> I also um, do varying size chunks. I agree. Yeah, that's a great tip. Cause I do think that you don't want it to look perfect. You don't want to look like that girl from Little House on the Prairie with those ringlets. Nelly. Yeah, you don't you want, want it messy and undone, kind of. Yeah, like, oh, this didn't take any, I woke up like this. When really, you absolutely did not. You spent so much time making it look great. But I will say, the most time that I spend on my hair in any given morning is 15 minutes. I would have to second that, yes. And that is when I'm curling my whole head. That's the only time it takes me 15 minutes. When I'm doing this, uh, it's probably not like in half. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's seven minutes or seven and a half minutes, but I do think it's like 10. Like I save time if I do a half up, half down. Right. So if I'm rushing, I think Mondays tend to be the, like the day that I am moving the slowest, then I will do a half up, half down to save me some time. I do think that I'm going to add a little bit of dry shampoo to the root because I like to do a lot of pulling and tugging here to loosen it in the elastic and I just need to have a little bit more texture. So my hair is definitely a little bit greasy, but I think I might just leave it. I don't think I'm gonna spray extra products in. But I am gonna, so something I've started doing, I like to have, even though, so normally I don't come up this high, this low. I was gonna say, yeah. Normally like this is out. So normally sure, I would let that sit a lot longer, but yeah, it's really smart for me to do this over my cocktail. I hope all of your fucking scalp bits are in there. Well, that was good. Tastes like another. <laughs> That's one of my favorite things that Mike says. So Caitlin's half up, half down is different than mine because I try to take a little bit more up in mine because my hair is at that weird in-between length and I, when I curl it and it's half up, half down, it looks really weird. I try to get more up in the pony so that it's fuller and it looks like my hair is thicker, which it is thicker. I rake all of my hair back. Sometimes I try to keep the part very defined and then sometimes I just like to kind of mess it up at the root so it looks very voluminous. And I'm basically taking it at my ears. I then take my fingers and again, like Caitlin was saying, no mirrors, kind of tricky. I rake it back. I don't use a brush because I want, I don't want to like cement the hair to my scalp. 
Right. I think that's a really important tip. Like, I'm don't lifting. have it tight. I'm also going to basically the highest point of my head here. Like the top. The peak. Pinnacle. You want to look like a Shih Tzu. Right. Like, would you put a Shih Tzu's ponytail back there? No. It's right on top. Practically right. between your eyeballs. Then, if you'll see, I push it forward like this to create some volume. Something wrong? <laughs> no, I've just never watched. I sometimes fuck it up. I might have to do it again. So I'd go around once, twice, three times a lady. Three times a lady. Pull. Okay? Looking a little crazy. Pull! And pull! Yeah, what's that from? I need a, I think it's Titanic. Yeah. I need a mirror. I think you're right. When I am <gasps> just on an average day, I use a clear Invisibubble. Sometimes I even use a whatever I have lying around. It's fine. I don't care. Is that what you're going to use today? Yes. So if for some reason I'm going somewhere and I want it to look even nicer, I use a goodie clear tiny elastic mm -hmm. and I do that. And then so with this, I end up probably teasing my hair more because it needs more help being lifted where the, the Invisibubble it adds lift. And then also when I have these, I will take a little piece of hair from the back and wrap it around the pony and then pin it so that you actually don't see an elastic at all. Right. That's with, smart. With this, I just throw it up. That's Same. this is like a Tuesday situation. Okay. So this doesn't look good. My hair looks very stringy because it's too clean. I already done told you it was going to. I wonder if I could get away with four wraps around. You think I can? Let's try. Okay. So I will say that's right. Okay. Get it as tight as you can comfortably stand. I somehow have managed to actually look like pebbles. I should so. Yeah, so, so we're looking a little perky. Also, this is great if you have wrinkles on your forehead and you want to smooth them out. Okay? Yeah. Now, sideburns. Wait a second. Look at how gray I am. Tell me. It's also dyed. You can't tell what's a gray and what's a I don't mind. Highlighted. No, I mean like this is I mean, this is 30 almost 32. Uh, it's not really this side as much. I think it's more this side. This is the side that has the grays. I have these. I let them be free. Wings. Be free. Wings is what my sister also has them. Hers are way bigger. Yeah. Oh my God. So much white in it though. It's like, but yeah, but you can't really it's tell. It's my grayest part. Then the part that I think is key, take your fingers, rake and pull, rake and pull, rake and pull, rake yeah. and pull. Like it, you want it to look a little messy and a little bit fuzzy. I do anyways. It's just this. You just do this over and over and rake, over again. Pull, tighten, pull, tighten. Right. And rake and tighten. So I do that like five times. Yeah. But I also end up having to do it throughout the day. Yes, absolutely. I will say this hairstyle for me is a favorite when I'm like three, four hours into the day and it's settled a little bit and my part is a little bit more defined. And it just looks like I threw my hair up so casually, I didn't even try. So now I'm just gonna take chunks of this ponytail. Ouch, burnt myself. Now I'm gonna add texture to my limp shit suit bullshit. <laughs> so I take it up like this and slowly let down pieces, spraying <laughs> the whole time. Wow, wow, wow. So if I do feel like my hair is just too clean, I'm gonna split this in like a third or a fourth, taking this top layer, back comb a little bit. Back combing's your friend. <laughs> Did I do that? No, it was totally my fault. I just hit my own wrist. Oh God. It's fine. Back combing is your friend. So I'm gonna do that throughout actually the whole thing because it's just a little too clean. I will say the important part of this part is that you don't curl to the front because that's the way it will want to fall. So you have to like curl to the back and to the side. This isn't ideally how I would like it to look, but this is what we're gonna do today. I mean, I shouldn't look like that. It'll, it'll chill out a little bit and then I'll just continue to tighten that elastic. Mm -hmm. I think that's the key. Like, don't take it out. Just keep tightening it. Yeah, and sometimes it gets all janky up here and you just gotta work with it. Yeah. So I have like, so I would let the cur the parts that I've curled chill out as much as possible. 
And then my number one tip, I will say occasionally I will tease this. Today I managed to get this motherfucker up there pretty high. Mm -hmm. And so I don't really think it requires teasing, but if your hair is thinner, some the teasing is really helpful to give you a little bit of lift in volume. Right. Um, and so now what I'm gonna do, occasionally I'll brush it out, but most of the time what I actually just do is that I take the Kristen S Soft Matte Pomade. You would think this uh, video is sponsored, but it's not. And I will take, can it be? A smear. It's more than a pea, maybe like a black bean. Then rub it all over my oh hands. So as if I'm using lotion, let's stand up. And I like flat it so I get it in the front and the back of the hair. Uh huh. Yeah, when I saw you do this for the first time, I was like, that's how you do it. Like I genuinely fuck it up. This doesn't smell good either. No, it smells like, for me, it almost kind of smells like gasoline. I think it smells like a livestock yard. Now the part that you have to be careful with is when you go to put this shit in your, you don't want to like pull this too you much. You want to hold this a little? Yeah. Like you want to separate the curl and just get that in there. And you see she's not being delicate or gentle. No. Okay, so this is how I would wear it if I wanted to half up, half down, pony still out. My hair is getting long enough now that this is a little bit goes. heavy that I would consider putting it in a bun. So let me show you how I would do that. So I just, I'm not re-raking any of that. I just took this out. I'm twisting, I'm twisting. I'm rolling it into a little donut. I'm tucking the end under. I'm gonna go around three times. I can't see what this looks like. You got a little. That's totally fine, I can fix that. So if I do this in a bun, I actually still invisibobble it first, and then I just wrap the pony around the invisibobble and take another one and just like loop it twice. And that's my bun. Yeah. And I'll sort of like pull it out to be a little bit more textured, but the addition of the invisibobble as like your base gives you a much fatter bun than if you're just using hair. Okay, so this is how I would wear it in a bun. You saw how easy that was. It doesn't even require bobby pins. The beautiful part about an Invisibobble is that it has all those individual loops that it's very easy to just like stick a couple stray hairs in rather than jamming bobby pins in your head. So, was this helpful at all? Probably not, but I hope you're celebrating Shih Tzu season just like we are. Yes! <laughs> woof woof! Woof <laughs> woof. I think they're more like a yip yip. And we did not make up Shih Tzu season. That is Heather McMahon. You can find her on Instagram and iTunes. Yeah. Feel free to like DM her with our names. <laughs> right. I can see us all just getting along really nicely. So that's everything. Comment down below if you, if there are other hairstyles you would like us to try, but yeah. only suggest hairstyles you've seen us wear because if we're not wearing them, it's because we don't know how to do them. I can do a good Dutch braid. Can't braid shit. I can braid. I can't braid. I can braid Caitlin's hair. Oh, I would like that. Have yeah. you clean though. Comment, like, and subscribe. Comment, like, and snakes. Ring the bell. Get those notifications straight into your inbox every time we upload a new video, which is Wednesday, Wednesday. and Sunday. Yeah. The Lord's Day. <laughs> Listen to our podcast. That is our time of the month anywhere that you can find a podcast. Did mm -hmm. you know that iHeartRadio? Are we on iHeartRadio? I applied. Oh, yeah, because last night on the radio I heard them say they're the number one source for podcasts, which, like, who's running that data, but whatever. But, yeah, we are on Apple, Spotify, soon-to-be iHeartRadio, soon-to-be Pandora. Tune in. Deezer. Stitcher. Stitcher. All of them. Google. We're trying to get everywhere. But, yeah. And, of course, as always, if you have content recommendations for the podcast, the, the YouTubes or the Instagrams, Leave them down below. Please do. Comment somewhere. We would love to have your ideas. That's how this video got made. That is. And we really appreciate you submitting your suggestions. Yes. Sometimes we're just too brain dead to think about it. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Thank I think you. We said everything except for watch our last video. Watch our next video. Go ahead and watch all the videos. Watch all the videos. We really, really love it. Especially when you guys tell us that that's what you're doing. So really, we just need to say, love you. Bye. Bye. Cut it. Cut it. <laughs>